Sub's on the hunt for diamonds. Not the traditional, old-fashioned, run-into-them-in-a-cave type of diamonds, or even those sparkling randomly by a pool of lava type of diamonds either. No, Sub is a fan of unusual methods. In fact, he's going to try 10 unusual ways to get diamonds in Minecraft. The odds are low, but I'm sure if you open enough loot chests and follow enough players, a diamond will pop up eventually. Oh, maybe even some netherite ingots. Number 1. Strongholds There are lots of areas where chests may spawn with randomized loot. In a few cases, a diamond has a chance to appear, and we might as well cover a few. Strongholds are more of an endgame structure. Even if you were to stumble upon this before you had a bunch of ender eyes to track it down, the amount of dangerous mobs in there, combined with the silverfish and end portal, are reason enough not to investigate sooner than you need. However, if you choose to brave the depths before you have diamond gear, then you might have a chance. It's small, but stronghold altar chests have a 7.4% chance to have diamonds. Ooh, you're out of luck this time, sub. You fought all the way down here for nothing. Ah, well, I'm sure you'll find something eventually. Number 2. Strip Mining Now I know I said we would avoid traditional methods, but you may be surprised how many people out there haven't heard of or haven't mastered this method. Strip Mining involves finding a particular level on your y-axis coordinates. This range of numbers dictates what ores spawn there, and how frequently. Rather than mining willy-nilly at a random level, find the correct level for the ore you need. Diamonds will appear at level 16 or lower, but most commonly between 5 and 12. Once you're there, begin mining two block tunnels that branch out in each direction. Then, from each of them, branch out again, ensuring you leave a two block gap between each tunnel. Eventually, you'll be covering a much larger surface area and will be far more likely to run into ores than if you were just to dig in a straight line forever and hope. Set up a base for your strip mining to ensure that it doesn't take up too much of your day. You want to get in and out quickly so you can keep expanding and mining through new chunks. Number 3. Theft this one could be easy or really tough, depending on which target you choose. Stealing diamonds and other items is often prohibited on servers, but if you figure yourself an outlaw, or your server allows it, then try to get your hand on a newbie victim. Let them do all the work. Once they have the diamonds, you need to choose what's next. You could distract him with some sort of show or shenanigan. You could befriend him and then betray him. You could even just sneak right in without being seen and take them. The possibilities are endless, but once you get your hands on the diamonds, there's only one thing left to do. Run! Away from Steve, that is. Definitely do not run away from the channel. Here on Subs World, we try to put out as many quality Minecraft videos as possible to keep the community well aware and able to keep their valuables safe to avoid trolls. If you appreciate this, then make sure to subscribe. Not everyone does, and it goes a long way to supporting the channel. Isn't that right, Sub? Number 4. Temples Jungle and desert variants of temples appear throughout the world of Minecraft, with their various trap mechanisms and addition being a noticeable moment in the game's history. Jungles appeared with tripwire hooks and string. You've even used this type of things for your trap sub. Desert temples are a little more… explosive packed with TNT and an easily triggerable pressure plate. While temples are great for delving into for a bit of quick loot, you may not have realized that in desert temples you actually have a 6.3% chance of finding 1 to 3 diamonds within a chest. And next time you think about passing up a jungle temple on the way to your friend's base, consider wandering inside, as you have double the chance at 12.9% for 1 to 3 diamonds to spawn in a chest. Number 5. Villages Most definitely everybody's first structure when they run into a world. Villages appear everywhere, in almost every biome, and sometimes really close together. Villages can vary in size, but most will have a cobblestone forge building of some kind. Whoa! Hold your horses, sub! Before you whip out your emeralds and start trading with villagers to get rare items, consider taking a look inside their chests first. Honest, they don't mind. In 9.9% .9 of village toolsmith chests and in 16.2% of village weaponsmith chests, you also have a chance to find 1 to 3 diamonds. 
That means within your first couple of minutes in game, you could have yourself a diamond sword or even a diamond pickaxe. Crazy! Number 6. Buried Treasure Chests Sea exploration used to be a fairly alien concept to Minecraft. Way back when, there was almost no content for the water. For a long time, only squids existed to liven things up other than fishing and sailing. Now, with sea ruins, sea temples, sunken ships, dolphins, turtles, coral of all colors, the world is truly alive on both sides of the water's surface. If you dare, dive into a sunken ship to find its treasure. If you have enough air to reach the chest, you may be in luck as you have a 14.1% chance to find a diamond in there. Hey sub, you actually found one! Good job! Now just remember to breathe! The fun doesn't stop there. I see you also salvaged a treasure map from the ship. Following that will lead you to a buried treasure chest. While these will appear far rarer in 1.16, for now they're still quite easy to find. And you have a whopping 53.1% chance to find up to two diamonds. Those are some pretty good odds. What are the odds of this video getting over 30,000 likes, Sub? You want to put the viewers of Sub's World to another challenge? You heard us, guys. 30,000 likes. Show us what you can do. Number 7. Mineshafts The maze that doesn't need building. Mineshafts are a mess of tunnels crisscrossing and going up and down. Mixed with cave generation and minor collisions can create some really absurd structures. But one thing that always remains true are the chest minecarts. Appearing on the tracks or just to the side, these chests can be easily spotted amongst the dreary tunnels. They're a really great source for coal, saddles, but most importantly of all, they have a 10% chance to spawn a diamond. Exactly what you're looking for! Number 8. Spawn them in creative. Sub, how dare you? I've got you red-handed. Cheating in creative mode, I, I can't believe you. Although it's highly unlikely that you'll ever be able to get into creative mode from survival unless you're in charge of the server. Sometimes you can find another player, such as an admin, and ask them for diamonds. Maybe even trade them. They may need help with redstone or terraforming a huge mountain to build their cool base. Assisting server staff may be one of the quickest ways to creative mode since game mode commands. Number 9. Fortresses and Cities That's right, while you're probably not going to be needing diamonds all that much in the nether or the end, considering you had to find diamonds to get here in the first place, you'll still find yourself happily surprised when stumbling across a chest. And if the fight with the end dragon has damaged your tools a lot, you may be looking for a few freebies to help you out after all. So find as many as you can. In the Nether Fortress chests, you have a 19% chance to find diamonds, whereas up in those tall end cities, you have a 21% chance. However, in the end, they spawn in stacks of 2 to 7, never any less. So a new diamond sword is basically as good as yours if you're lucky enough. Number 10. Coincidence. Sometimes, on the most rarest of occasions, an incredibly large amount of variables may just fall into place at the right time to ensure that somewhere, someone, out of nowhere, randomly dies right in front of you. They drop diamonds! Can you believe it? What are the odds? But where did they come from? Oh, it looks like Minecraft Pro isn't having a good day. He just threw this guy off a skyblock! You better get out of here quickly, Sub. While you escape the gaze of Minecraft Pro, I'll ask the people watching to comment if they have any ideas. We always love taking inspiration from suggestions in the comments. You're the reason we make these videos, after all. 10 Unusual Ways to Get Diamonds in Minecraft I thought I'd be searching the caves for ore all day. But thanks to your handy trick sub, I might just be in with a chance of finding diamonds early, or without needing to mine them at all. What do you know? Thanks once again for showing us the way. I think Steve is starting to gather a few diamonds again, so maybe you should go prank him or try to steal them. No, sub, wait! I was just kidding! <laughs> See you next time, sub! <laughs>